Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to explain a movie called Missing Link. Get comfortable. The main messages from this movie are that being a nice person is more important than being famous and that good triumphs over evil. The film is about, it has launches an adventure as Mr. Link recruits explorer Sir Lionel Frost to help find his long-lost relatives in the fabled valley of Shangri-La, along with adventurer Adeline Fortnite. While, this trio of explorers travels the world to help their new friends, as they made some moment for a member, and Sir Lionel might get his dream. The film starts with the explorer Sir Lionel Frost traveling with his partner Mr. Lint to the middle of a lake. While he was playing some musical instrument and Mr. Lint was bored that moment, there, they come across the fabled Loch Ness Monster. That moment, Lionel lassos the beast and gets a picture of it, but it then grabs Mr. Lint with its jaws and drags him underwater. Lionel dives in to save Mr. Lint. Later we see, the camera is destroyed after the monster whips their boat with its tail. They fall on Lakeside. Upon returning to London, Mr. Lint quits being Lionel's partner due to the constant distress he finds himself in, as well as Lionel's obvious lack of care for those. We learn, he brings along on his trips just for the sake of earning credibility. Lionel looks through his letters and comes across one inviting him to find proof of the existence of the Sasquatch. Right after know this matter, he then grabs a large stone footprint he came across which he believes belonged to the Sasquatch. After that, he gone to that place and we find little funny because he was knocking the door and without knowing he was knock on a person's forehead constantly. And then after open the door, he walks in very quickly. At there, Lionel brings his findings to the Optimates Club, a society of so-called great men who devoted themselves to New World discoveries. We learn, they have always refused to allow Lionel to join due to his constant lack of proof in his explorations. Although we see, he was explaining them about that Sasquatch and its location which is not so accurate, but he was trying to convince. After that, he speaks to the club's snooty leader, Lord Piggott Dunsaby, and offers to find veritable proof of the Sasquatch. In a moment, the man show and tell his egoism about his discovery, and in a moment he breaks Lionel's footprint and dismisses his claims. But there within a moment, Lionel tells him he is wrong. Seeing that he is being challenged, Piggott Dunsaby accepts Lionel's wager to join the society if he does find the proof he seeks. We saw Piggott Dunsaby was little worried about Lionel's word. He might know about this, but doesn't want to disclose or he doesn't want him to join here. That might be the reason he was sweeting. After Lionel goes to do so, Piggott Dunsaby tells his assistant Mr. Colic that he is going to hire a bounty hunter, Willard Stink, to kill Lionel before he can bring Shane to their club. Then we see, Lionel starts his by a ship and then he travels through Old Kemp Creek to make it to the forest their people are watching him. In a bit he reached the point he was looking, where he discovers the Sasquatch. Before that scene, we saw one killer got Lionel killing order. Later, to his surprise, the creature is capable of speech as well as reading and writing. He brings Lionel to his cave and tells him that he wrote the letter to go find him. As we find, he also knows of Lionel due to several unflattering newspaper articles on him. While, Lionel was shocked to learn about this. After that, the creature wants Lionel's help in guiding him to the Himalayas where he believes he will find other creatures like himself, and that way he won't feel alone. While Lionel was thinking and wondering how he tells the world about its existence. And this Sasquatch tells him he will help for this. In a moment, Lionel agrees and figures he must disguise the creature to get him through a crowd. Lionel dubs him Mr. Link, and they head off together. Where, he tells Mr. Link that they will need to find a map kept by Lionel's old friend, Aldous Fortnite, who has recently passed away and left behind his widow, Adelina. As the two make their trip, they stop in town for the evening and go into a bar. They are spotted by Stank and a couple other goons. Although, Lionel knows of Stink's reputation for hunting game, but also how the Sasquatch has eluded him. After Mr. Link makes himself known to the crowd, Lionel and Stink begin to fight each other. We saw the fight extends onto the rest of the patrons who start to fight one another. Lionel and Mr. Link get away, and they realize they have to keep things moving to avoid Stink. Later, Stink sends updates to Lord Piggott Dunsaby about his progress and quietly follows the two. After that, Lionel and Mr. Link make their way to Santa Ana to find Adelina. She and Lionel used to be involved before she married Aldous, and Adelina is less than welcoming to Lionel since he didn't go to Aldous's funeral. 
After Lionel makes it clear he only came for Aldous's map, Adelina tells him no and sends him and Mr. Link on their way. Later that night, Lionel and Mr. Link attempt to sneak back into Adelina's house to get the map, but Mr. Link manages to wake up Adelina and her butler when moving the safe containing the map. Then, the butler shoots the safe out the window by mistake, which allows Lionel to grab it and run away with Mr. Link. After all that, the two arrive at the train station in disguise as a nun, but Adelina gets there and easily spots them. Unfortunately, Stink is also there and has spotted them, and he begins to shoot at the heroes. However, Lionel tricks him into believing that they hopped onto the train, but he and Mr. Link, now joined by Adelina, get away and hop onto a carriage to their next destination. On the trip, Adelina warms up to Mr. Link and becomes interested in helping him find Shangri-La, where Aldous believed they would find the Yeti. Later, the trio gets onto a boat, where Lionel warns Mr. Link of what will happen to him if Stink finds him, in full graphic detail. However, the only concern Lionel has is to win his wager with Piggott Densabai. Annoyed at his insincerity, Adelina talks to Lionel in her room about his treatment of Mr. Link. After that, Lionel goes to find Mr. Link outside where he asks him what kind of name he would prefer. Then, Mr. Link recalls of a time when he saw a prospector who smiled at him instead of running away, as everyone else does, and he names himself Susan after her. A moment later, Stink appears and tries to get the heroes, but they fight him off. In the scuffle, Adelina is accidentally knocked overboard but hangs on for her life. There, Susan goes to save her, albeit clumsily. Lionel manages to evade Stink once again and gets away on a boat with Adelina and Susan. We saw, Stink reports his failure to Lord Piggott Densabai once again, and we cut to him throwing a tantrum. Later, the heroes travel through India before reaching a town to find a guide named Gamu. They are overheard by Gamu's granddaughter Amma, who brings them to Gamu's home. After an awkward few minutes where Susan eats yak-based food and mentions Gamu's chicken, which Amma warned them not to do, he reveals himself as a beast, which causes Gamu to faint. After she wakes up, she points them in the direction of the mountain where they may find the Yeti. Later on, Gamu's home is found by Piggott Densabai, Stank, and Mr. Kalik, who threaten Gamu's great-grandson so she can tell them where the heroes are headed. After that, the trio reaches Shangri-La and is found by the Yeti, who brings them to the Yeti Elder. She shows them their land, but they regard Susan as their country cousin, and therefore not fit to live among them. Then, the Elder orders her soldiers to throw the heroes into a pit as prisoners. Down there, Susan feels sad that his own kind would reject him, while Lionel continues to grouse about not making it into the Optimates Club. Adding some courage, Adelina tells him off over how selfish he is and the fact that those men don't care for him, so he has no reason to do so himself. After cheering him up, Susan helps Lionel and Adelina get out of the pit before he climbs out himself and makes his way. Later, the three attempts to make their escape, but Susan draw the Yeti's attention to them, and they chase after the heroes. Outside, we saw that they try to run across the ice bridge, only for Piggott Densabai, Kalik, and Stink to corner them. Moreover, Piggott Densabai wants to make sure Lionel never brings back proof of Susan's existence, but Lionel finally tells him off on how he no longer cares about joining the club and that Susan is his friend. After that, Piggott Densabai then shoots the bridge and starts smashing it to kill the heroes, but his plan backfires, and he falls to his death as everyone runs to the other end. Mr. Kalik soon follows. Then, the heroes then hang on for dear life as Stink stands above them and tries to kill them just for his own pride. In the meantime, Lionel pulls him down, and they begin to slap fight just as Susan attempts to hold onto an icicle to save his friends. That time, Stink falls and holds onto Lionel's foot, but the tip of the icicle breaks off and falls onto Stink, sending him to his doom. After pulling themselves up, the heroes look back at the Yeti, and Susan blows the Elder a raspberry. As their journey has come to an end, Lionel attempts to make his move on Adelina, but she decides to set off on her own adventure and to live for herself. After that, Lionel decides to ask Susan to be his new exploring partner, to which he accepts. The two return back to London and head off on their next case. When everything seems good, at last we see is a framed photo of Lionel and Susan together as friends. This makes him inspired sometimes. So, that was all from the video. Please, give us a suggestion of movies you want us to upload next. Thank you for watching and being part of our family. Just to let you know, we are posting videos every day for you. 
Please subscribe to give us more motivation, and you will not miss our daily video.